Well, on to the ne last chapter. It's kind of funny how short the last chapter is. I mean, Ashley. instead of making it this Ashley. short, they should have just like right added the uh, you die. three to this because it's it's kind of like it's one of the bigger bosses anyway, so it should be there. And there's like content in the game where it could have been added into yeah. because there's like empty yeah, empty it. stuff. Can you stand? They hint in the like in the logs of the game that uh, uh, U three is the other other like Salazar's ser servant. So they hey, could have like made it that team. you don't have to kill Verdugo, but you have to fight the the U three Pesanta or whatever it is. You need to fight fight against it anyway, and it would so would have come in the like the mines. Yeah. Actually, I kind of was kind of curious. So, you know how Code Veronica is based in uh, Europe, Umbrella Europe's laboratory, like French or, or France. I kind of feel like uh, there might be some relation, like they're they're relate, uh, like. Him. Trying to make it so that that's the whatever. No one cares. They're like trying to make it so that the someone had a field day looting the umbrella labs. <laughs> They're trying to hint that, uh, like in Code Veronica, there might be some sort of like a the most uncomfortable place I've slept. I'm surprised this thing even booted up. There might be some references into it, maybe. If they, if they're going to make the, make, uh, remake Code Veronica, which I think they should. I think they should remake Code Veronica instead of uh, Resident Evil 5. If they're thinking about it, Resident Evil 5 is modernized Resident Evil, but Code Veronica is like Look, so. I so old so that I like I said, we're a team. So I think that uh, they should remake Code Veronica basically next. You're getting good at that. Or maybe like uh, like I wouldn't mind uh, Resident Evil Zero either. Like that that game root could really use a actual remake but it's so cut off from the it's like a basically a spin-off so it's so cut off from the main series even though it somehow you sure you're okay? ties up uh, never been better ties up into the plot line but I feel like uh, they could do something good with it. But in case they are thinking about making Resident Evil 5 remake, I think they should like throw the partner system away or like revamp it to similar like the same way as it is in Zero or this game. Like I, I kind of feel like Sure, she's fine. There's like she's a the type to box in there. Easy. Sounds like you know her well. Yeah. She was my girlfriend. At least that's what I wanted her to be. But anyway, they should like me revamp the uh, partner system from the original original because I mean it would be kind of interesting to see the. How Resident Evil 5 would work with this kind of like a uh, system, but like uh, they should really revamp the whole partner system, and I kind of feel like they're practicing it in this, like trying it out in this game, 
can't fucking see anything. Uh, Ashley, can you stop spinning around in my feet? But it kind of feels like the Louis thing, because it was added in this game, is like uh, something that they're trying to... Like... Implement into... Implement into the... Resident Evil 5. Moving my thoughts. I wonder if there are there's more of these. Like, look at this fucking Ashley. I mean, <laughs> she's just spinning around in my feet. Like, let's try if this does anything. So where the fuck are the bugs? I can't see them. I know there are bugs in here. There's at least two, or three, or maybe four. They're fucking good at hiding. <coughs> Near impossible to see them. Is that one? Just had to make sure. Is that one? No. <clears throat> I'm just fucking going to shoot everything. Everything that looks suspicious. It kinda looks like one, but it isn't, since I already saw it. Huh? Actually, I... Oh. I didn't even see this. There's got to be one in here. But where? <laughs> the funny part is, the slower you move, the easier it is for them to grab, grab you. So if you're just like running because you're a fucking crazy idiot, they won't even hit, get you. Which is like how idiots can. No. Which is how idiots survive. Whatever. Los Illuminados. Illuminados pendant. Actually, I'm only missing one. It's over there. Where is that, actually? Huh? Coming, Ashley? I think, uh... Isn't there like a... 
with me. Hey. Situation where Liam helps Ashley up. I don't know. So where are the what gunpowder? Thanks. Thanks. The treasure is there. So Where are all the bugs? Is that one? Wow! You sure killed that buck. Is that one? No. What the fuck? Double crab! That's bullshit, you fucking fuckface. So I lost like... <laughs> God damn. Actually, I have a... Well, that's it. I lost health, god damn it. God fucking damn it. You have the stench of battle on you, mate. <laughs> so, this is the last time. This doesn't open. Uh don't have a healing herb. Welcome. Where would it? What can I do you for? Ruby's all stranger. Ooh, I'll pay it. Might want to take care of any left You can't, uh... Alright, so, let's do this. I'm going to take the... Magnum ammunition. Well, I only got one. Like, could only do one. Well, that's sad. So, be ashamed to live the rest of your life. Can I sell the broken? Your valuables won't do you much good in the grave. I, I don't. I'm not going to need this anyway anymore. But to be honest, like. So, I can get that. Mm. Do I really need anything? Like, I might as well take this. I get always full health. Is there anything else that actually helps me? Like, maybe this one? <laughs> I don't know. So knife is okay. I'm going to save. This one, yeah. Oh stranger. Welcome. And tuning up. I don't need damage to that. 
but molding a weapon to suit your specific needs. <laughs> this Upgrading kind of work is this. about finesse, stranger. Little bit goes a long way. You this. Well, damn. I'm so close to actually. Oh, wait a minute. What am I thinking? I can sell these. Yeah, I don't need those anymore. Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. Try that on for size. See how that feels, mate. Fellow like yourself should notice the difference right away. We're starting to get an idea. That's about all I can do for this weapon. Dazzled, are you? <laughs> well, damn. Our craftsmanship demands no less. 77. <laughs> I, I don't have enough to do that. A well tuned. Sad well, to say that's the end of the road for that one. Well, Can't yeah, but like I could have done it anyway. Not I didn't most. really need Come that. Back any time. Oh. Okay. I don't need those. Like grenades, yeah, but I'm probably going to be using them from the inventory anyway. Uh, I never did actually craft heavy grenades. Welcome. Where would it? What can I do you for? All my wares are in. <laughs> so I could trade. Uh, I mean, I could trade and sell these What's actually. That? How have we procured these curiosities? <laughs> you don't want to know. But I, I'm got next time. I'm, doesn't matter. So, is there anything else I really need? I don't think so. Like, I could take the first stage sprays. Right? I have this thing, but it's not like I'm going to do anything with that. I mean, I could trade my spinels and get items and sell those too, if I wanted to, but... I don't think it really matters. I'll just take these. Buy something, eh? So, I, I don't think there's anything else left. Like, the next up... Oh yeah, I mean, I can do this. Leon, look! Is that... Is that what? Is it Ada? Hanging? Bondage? Ada. I didn't know that you're into that kind of stuff. Gonna lure me out. That's crazy. So I, there's nothing really left anymore. I have everything mapped. I have everything stacked. Everything's crazy. Oh well, what the hell? I guess I'm going to do this. Exclusive ticket for this. What's that? So, which weapon will you be given a shot? And get this. Give us a shot. That is a top-notch weapon. You really don't settle for anything less than the best, do ya? Like, don't get yourself killed now. I guess I'm just going to do that. Because why not? <laughs> why the fuck not? <laughs> like really. Okay, so let's go then. I have no idea how to actually fight against Sattler or what he actually does. Like the first time I did this on the standard Stay difficulty, I, won't be long. I just kind of like I did it on the first try and didn't really need to think about anything. I just ran around and shot, shot him <laughs> bazillion times and that's about it. So I actually have no idea how to fight him properly. So let's see how this goes. Oh no, box! This game is full of them. Southern. So 
so we'll see how the Killer 7 does. Like, the first time I did this, I used the... Uh, broken Butterfly, and it's more effective anyway, but it's, like, less harder. Like, it's harder to hit. Coming. Ah, uh, ha! Huh. I didn't even know he has an attack like that. Was there like a no? What? Stupid attacks. Oh, there's actually flies running around. So, is this effect more effective or not? Kinda annoying. Hey, Fox. Fuck, did he puke on me? Well, there's an exploding chingama thing in here. How do you... How do you evade that? Oh, I was going to use it. Well, that didn't do... What the fuck? That's like so... Crazy to... Dodge. It actually... Uh...
Did I? No. Ah, I don't have any. Oh, I do. So what the fuck? All of her his. Like I have no idea if this is the better choice or Oh, I got a bonus without that. It's like so impossible to hit this. Is there like no way to actually like out of hell. So I just want to know if it's like uh do you want to like uh so I wasted all my healing like basically at even more than that. Stay here. I won't be long. But like oh, fuck I'm just going to do this and try if it this is Oh, I hear voices. He actually... He actually breaks those. My granite even go off.
I can't fucking get out. Is he going to do the puking upper? No healing anywhere. Uh, what's that, it? Like, don't you just need to shoot the rocket launcher? Something. I'm getting sick of your shit. Or was it a god scene in this? I can't remember. No, actually there is a second phase, right? I didn't even remember that there's this face. I didn't even remember that there's actually a, this kind of face. I'll give you a holy body. Yeah. Here. Here, have this holy body. Well, yeah, I only fought him once. I first tried him on the standard and I have no idea what I did and I can't even remember the fight at all. Now I actually like, at least this difficulty forces you to basically like, at least learn something. Even, even though it still kind of was just like running through it. What the hell are you doing? Nothing running through it, but it's like still, it actually forces you to worry, know that he has those attacks, certain type of attacks and doing the certain type of things. Right here. So. Coming? Now only thing is... is where we go our separate ways. Oh no. Name dropping the DLC. Buy it and you can see the separate ways too. Alright, so we have uh, the escape seek section only left. You can save in there. Better get a move on. Hey, I actually have that charm. So basically, I'm whole free. Time, Leon. Leon! But I'm going to keep my thoughts after the game about this difficulty and the game, basically. I don't understand. Why would she just? Get a move. Island's gonna blow. It's gonna blow. Yeah. Huh. Is 
there less time in this? I think it's... Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah. I think it's three minutes on... Uh, I mean, I can just... Oh. Although... Why? Left. Why would I take... Need that? Or was there actually any enemies? There might have been. Or is it like... Uh, Or is it on this difficulty that it's different? This is actually tighter. Come on, die already. All right, not bad either. You like drill rides? You're gonna love this. Yeah. I wonder if this is different on on this difficulty. Well, it is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you don't die on standard like instantly. Do I even want to bother with this? None left. Now we can go home. We're not out of here yet. I'm not even sure why I'm doing this, but... But you get money from it. So let's see. You're gonna love this. Okay, you take like insane amounts of damage if you get knocked. Wait. 
I don't think I I'm going to make it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, you just don't have any time. You're just going to be running. Like instantly. There's like no time to loot anything or wait or anything. You just have to go. Now we can go home. We're not out of here yet. Now I know why the green herb is actually there. It, in case you're in a red health. Because otherwise you're so much slower that you can't make it through here. I didn't really expect this to be harder. All right. Not bad you like drill rides? You're gonna love this. That was close. What the fuck didn't turn? How much did I have time left in there? I think it was like half a second. Or was it more? Like really low anyway. So you're like... You all right? It's so sure tight. But that's it. That's it. It's done. Took a while, two weekends basically. At least it's Mission done. Accomplished, right? Mission accomplished. When you're home safe. Thank you for saving me. Don't mention it. So the thing you know, I could put in word with my dad. Have you assigned to my detail, if you're interested? I'm not interested. You, don't need me. you proved you could handle yourself. I don't think you that's what she was <laughs> talking about, Come on. Leon. I'm Let's pretty sure on. she was flirting with you. But yeah, so... The reason why I er earlier Someone? talked Are about... You about the Leon, Resident Evil 5 Leon, remake. Leon. That if they're going to do it, they're like hinting it in the these ending scenes that they're like uh, kind of invested into creating this plot or like making this plot go through the Resident Evil 5. Because after this, the Resident Evil 5 thing happened, Wesker gets the Uroboros and Wesker is like hinted to be talking here and doing things, and they're like, like well, you know, and. To be honest, it kind of feels like they are actually thinking about doing, like, continuing the plot, retconning some some of the things 
in the plot and they're going to make the Resident Evil 5 remake next to follow up with this and tying in basically the plot with that. I'm pretty sure, like, I'm, I'm not sure because I can't be sure, but it kind of feels like that. And there's actually like, a, the one thing is that uh, this game has the Louis partnering which you've seen, which isn't in the original at all, which kind of like, uh, yeah, it might be because they wanted to like create backstory for Louis and make him look like an actual good guy instead of just like a random guy who comes and dies, basically. But the other thing that I'm thinking about, it kind of feels like a test for for the Resident Evil 5, like a partnered cooperating system that they're going to think, thinking about making the, like the partner system into something like that. So your partner can't die and can't waste ammunition, but it's like helping there and like being there and then then you do the like the combined climbing sections and all those things. So it kind of feels like I might be wrong about this, but it kind of feels like they're uh, trying to like uh, make way for the Resident Evil 5 remake and revamping the partner system in that way. Because the partner system is one of the biggest criti criticized things about that game. But to be fair, I wouldn't want to see Resident Evil 5 remake. It would be interesting to see the whole like fighting and the game systems with this type of like way. But it's too new and I think I'd much rather see like a completely remade uh, Code Veronica and Zero. Like, Code Veronica at least, and second is like Resident Evil Zero. I've obtained the but Amber. if they're going to be... Okay, this is the part I was talking about, like they're like... Just one question. Insti what like, uh, uh, insinuating okay. that there might be Last Resident questions. Evil 5 remake, because they're like showing fully remade Wesker, and they're talking about the next, next like, all you need to know is a new dawn is breaking, a hundred will give their lives, so that's just one may leave, which is like the Resident Evil 5. Am expediting that they're, they're, like, it feels like they're so insinuating that the next thing, yeah, Resident Evil 5 is, is going to happen. How ambitious. And like, uh, because the part is that and they're like, yeah. maybe continuing this whole thing into the Resident Evil 5 plotline, like he, Vesker creates uh, Uruboros from Las Plagas and implementing the weird fires from the somewhere, maybe, maybe they're like thinking about insin like doing something like that, I'm not sure. It kind of feels like that, and to be honest, it might be interesting to see, like, I I kind of want, would be interested to see this whole, like, game system, this style of game system made in with Resident Evil 5, and if they actually, like, remove the partners, either remove the partner system completely, or make it so it's, like, you hanging around with Louis. So basically, like, and adding some, like, Comments that are like, uh, like cover, like the cover me comments and all that. But making it so that the partner can't die, or if he like he gets disabled only, basically, because the partner like Resident Evil Five isn't a horrible game. I think it's not a really very good game. It's like at the mecha, like the game systems and all that, the inventory system and everything is so goddamn clunky and crappy and all that, but it's not like super bad game. But the partner system just destroys it completely on a ha harder difficulty, like on veteran and, well, professional, of course. So it's not like, they, they shouldn't like uh, keep the partner system the same. They should like make it different. And if they're going to think, if they're thinking about like, Keeping the co-op play with like online co-op play with friends in the game, then they could make the partners be uh, like getting hurt and having their own inventory, basically. But only then, 
or like something but anyway just like not being a with like a bound to the crappy AI that might do random things that's the main thing so I'd be okay with Resident Evil remake like that but I'd ra much rather see Resident Evil Code Veronica redone or or zero so yeah that's just what I think basically I if well I'd only like I've played now I've played all the main game uh, Resident Evils in the series but I did the playthroughs in Finnish only at the videos recorded the videos only in Finnish so no one <laughs> no English speaking person or someone who doesn't understand Finnish can't understand what I was talking about but I've done everything now and I th I think the that Resident Evil 5 is the worst in the series by far it, oh, like the partner system forced partner system is like the one thing that already makes it way worse and the clunky mechanics combined with action style of gameplay they they don't, they just don't match they're like not good so i think it's it's the worst game in the series and maybe if they remade it well it might be actually a cool thing but i guess we'll see so yeah anyway i've played every Resident Evil now, like the main series games. Co Resident Evil Zero, Code Veronica, one, two, two remake, one remake, two remake, three remake, uh, four, original four, five, six, seven, eight, and this. Am I missing out? Uh, oh, oh, and Revelations one and two. And I think this is like, if not the best. If not the best Resident Evil, then it's on par with uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake and Resident Evil 1 Remake. And of course, like, I think Revelations are really good also. But this is like super good. This is one of the games that I want to just keep on playing. Like, I feel like I want to keep on playing and trying to get better. And that doesn't happen often in one single player games for me. I, like. Basically, none of the Resident Evils have really done it, except for maybe Resident Evil 2 Remake. And I've played the re original Resident Evils 2, like original 1, 2 and 3. And I think this is like uh, a lot better than most of them. That's that's why I just like like it. And yeah, it's, it's great. Although I missed uh, like the snarky campy one-liners from the original games like the comedic uh, the, the one-liners were so good so funny although they really don't match up like the whole atmosphere didn't really match up with the whole game and this is like a lot a lot darker and more m mature major well not really mature but like uh, a lot darker basically which is kind of interesting but I like them. I like Leon's voice actor and I and I like the voice actors in the game anyway. I don't have anything really that bad to say about the voice acting in this game, but I just don't like Ada's voice actor. If, like the I don't know why they didn't that why the Resident Evil 2 remake Ada didn't do the voice for this because she was actually pretty good and I think she would have been good in this. It's not that it's totally bad the new Ada voice actress but it's just not something I like so the other part is that uh, playing this from after standard like on new game professional without any shop items or anything this it kind of feels like uh, they've actually meant for this difficulty to be played they're like it's not unfair it's actually pretty fair and I think like uh, pretty skill based it's not like unfair or it's not meant to be played on like new game plus with the items it's like they're kind of thinking about the players playing it on new game the only pro negative thing i have to say uh, is that the difficulty adjustment thing is real and i kind of wish it was like the original professional resident evil 4 where it's always the same amount it doesn't change basically and in this it's like 
a bit different, you get the items and everything, but... Well, I don't know. But it kind of takes away from the experience, because I w want the highest difficulty, di difficulty to play it fully, so there's no fluctuation or randomness or anything, so I could do this like this. Even though they could keep the items coming, like the same. But anyway, uh... I, I just I just feel like this is a really good game and the difficulty is like fair and meant to be played. Like I feel like the true experience of this game is the new game professional. 28 hours saves 200. And I actually complete the main story on hardcore mode or higher. Complete the main story on professional or higher. B rank. Yeah. Uh, let's just put it there. Yeah. So do I get anything from this? Proficient agent. Complete the main story on hardcore mode or higher. Pro peerless agent. Complete the main story on professional. Level. Complete a new game in the main story on professional mode without using any bonus weapons. Glasses round, flight helmet, surgical mask, gas mask, hand cannon! Yeah. So, yeah, I, I think... Uh, so it took me a <laughs> quite a long time and the next stop would be to like actually try to get the professional into a lot better, like getting the S plus rank or something. Because the rank requirements are like... Where can you see it? It's over here. Yeah. Like the rank requirements are pretty... Pretty crazy. Not impossible, but yeah. So... I feel like the difficulty is fair. Like... In most Resident Evils that I've played, the highest difficulty usually means that either it's totally like balanced for New Game Plus and the shop items, like for example Village, Village of Shadows, that's completely like playing it on New Game without any upgrades is like insanity, but it's doable, but it's still insanity. Doing like a Madhouse on Resident Evil 7, well that's not so bad, but it's still kind of like... A it's it's obvious they haven't like expected you to do it or like uh, or the older ones having the higher difficulties except for Resident Evil 1 and I well Resident Evil 1 basically and the hardcore modes for Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 remakes those aren't like or professional in the original it's not meant like like all of those is are not like uh, meant to be done on uh, on like uh, on a on a new game run they're basically expecting you to uh, either they're like super unbalanced uh, unbalanced or like they're expected to be done on new game plus with like the upgraded weapons and uh, or like store store bought items which is, uh, which is not the case in this, and that's why it's kind of like pretty cool that you can do this. Like they're not expecting you to do it on, like they're giving you a actual difficulty that you don't need to do use the shop items, but you can use them if you want to, like make it real easy for you. So that's like the greatest part. It, this, this game feels satisfying for me for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah. Uh, the only... The other part that I'm kind of annoyed about is that they removed uh, U3, the weird bug type of blade monster you fight in the container yard in the end of the game. I feel like it should have been there, especially since they're like making backlogs or retconning that the thing is the 
utter Salazar bodyguard. So they could have at their like not showing Salazar fusing into his bodyguard in this because he, I'm pretty sure it doesn't happen unlike in the original. So they could have like made the Salazar bodyguard the other one be like an like where to go would be the o optional boss to kill and the other one would be like the new U3 that you actually have to kill and fight him either later on or like he comes to avenge Salazar or something or like become Sattler's thing or something or you fight him her I think it's her after uh, after like before Salazar or something like that there's like lots of spots where like there's so many so like long spots for with between the bosses to fight so basically they could have like added added uh, her to somewhere there that that's how i feel like i'm kind of disappointed that u3 isn't an optional like an actual boss in the game and you can't like fight against it so that that's just my thoughts but i feel like uh like the game is really long it's insanely long like the playthrough is super long for a survival horror game but the problem is that uh, they still took out certain content that could have been added in the game but it's really well made really well made re remake i think and what else what else i was going to say oh yeah uh, i might like i'm really interested now that i've done this to actually try out certain other like harder difficulty runs in it, like and commenting on English since I've played all the Resident Evils now. For example, I am thinking about do, trying, who, trying, like I need to, I need to point that out. Like trying Resident Evil Village, Village of Shadows on new game file without like the shop items or anything, any bonus items or anything. Like trying it hardcore. I mean that's like insanely hard. I know that for a fact, but it's still doable the only problem is that i would have to use a uh, keyboard and mouse because like you have to basically hit every shot you can't afford to miss anything so and with bad you're bound to miss something so i'd need to use keyboard and mouse in that game i'm not i'm not really good with keyboard and mouse but but i need to use it it's still like a lot better choice than than using it on using a pad on it so that's what I was thinking about and trying it out and recording those videos also doing the commentary on English. Especially since now I now that I started this because I'm not I haven't done commentaries in in English before since I did the for my Finnish audience like I finished the Resident Evil games for my Finnish audience but since this is an extra game and I've already recorded and done the norm standard playthrough in Finnish I decided to do the professional in English so that as many people can see it and understand what I'm talking about and going through so that's what I was thinking about the other one is Resident Evil 7 uh, madhouse difficulty without the shop items or the new game file basically so that's that's another one there are others too like resident evil zero hard mode uh, well i did resident evil 2 hardcore and resident evil 3 hardcore but resident evil 3 has like higher difficulties which are don't don't sound fun at all but also like uh Resident Evil Revelations 1 and 2 like on a higher difficulty. I'm not sure But those are in the future like will it, like the next thing that I would consider doing like something harder than that is probably either uh, Resident Evil 7 Madhouse or Resident Evil 8 Village of Shadows new game files like No, no bonus items like just going and trying like the uh, Village of Shadows would do take a long time to actually finish and like lots of free tries and actually like checking out if there's like certain strats that I can abuse or something to make the game like easier so that's another like that's a thing I'm contemplating about if someone is watching here they can leave comments about that and tell me what they think about it 
but the actual like things I'm going to be doing next that are like uh, what I'm thinking about doing, well not thinking about doing, but I'm going to do is after, now that I've d uh, finished every Resident Evil main Resident Evil game, I'm going to be playing Dead Space 1, Dead Space 2, Dead Space 3 and Dead Space 1 Remake all back to back and recording the videos from it. And I'm probably going to be doing them in English since it's like a cutoff from the Resident Evil 7, uh, Resident Evil like franchise, so might as well start doing it them in English. So that mo many people understand what I'm going through. I'm not sure, I haven't played them at all. I've never played any Dead Space ever. I know about the games, I know about some, some things about them, but I haven't played them myself. So it's going to be an interesting experience to just play them and then see like the remake of the first one, how, how it differs from it. And I'm going to be doing Dead Space 1, 2, 3 because like those are the main games, although 3 is said to be not that cool, but we'll see. I guess I'll play it. And I'm probably going to be playing through those games in English and doing the like the playthroughs. And uh, I might be like I don't know the difficulties. I know that the diffi like the highest hardest difficulty in those games is like uh, something where you have only like three saves or limited really limited saves or something like that. So I'm probably not going to do them on the hardest difficulty, but I might consider consider trying them on the second to hardest difficulty, like playing playing it on the second to hardest difficulty, depending on how hard it actually is, how long it will it take. Like, I, I can finish them probably, but it's going to take a lot longer. Just like this, like it took me over, well, well four hours longer to finish than the standard game, because it was so much difficult, and I had to like, play so much safer and slower in many situations. So, well, although there's like two hours of uh, the shooting ranges, I didn't do them on the standard, I did, did, did them only on professional, so... Well, anyway. But yeah, so... I might consider doing them on the second to hardest difficulty. Depends, I have to check out how... what kind of difficulties it has and how it is and all that. Just so you know, I haven't played them, I know about them, I've seen things about the game, but I haven't played them myself, so it's kind of a new experience. And after that, after the Dead Space, I'm probably going to be doing Evil Within 1 and Evil Within 2 back to back. I've played Evil Within 1 and Evil Within 2 before, and I've actually finished them on Aku, uh, finished 1 on Akumu and finished 2 on Classic also. And I'm probably going to be doing like a Evil Within 1 story run and Evil Within 2 story run first, and then like playing them again in uh, Akumu and classic modes, like doing the hardest difficulty runs in them. But first like doing the lore run and story run for people to know, understand. I might be doing them in English, like either I do the first run in Finnish and then the Akumu and, Akumu and classic run on English, but not sure. But those are the plans I'm going to be doing next, because I just want to. I just want to finish those games and do them. Probably many others do, but at least those to get like the big, big survival horror names out of the way. Especially Dead Space since I haven't played it before. And yeah, that's about it. I don't think there's anything else to say. If you have anything to comment, comment on the video. If you actually watched this <laughs> playthrough, professional new game uh, playthrough, then Thanks. Leave a comment if you liked. If you have anything to comment or criticize or ask or anything, just do that. I'm going to be cutting the videos a bit and making them like actually uh, like taking out the ticks. Oh yeah, and one thing I wanted to say, like actually the things in this game, like that I actually thought at first that would be like act really difficult and would take me a long time. Cabin fight, uh, Krauser, Salazar, uh, 
uh, what else? Mendes kinda. Well, any any of those, I was kinda expecting them to be really like difficult and taking taking a long time to finish and clear, but they weren't the ones that actually were that bad. The biggest problems were the countless rooms and like certain like double corridor is the hardest thing thing in in my opinion in this like the most difficult like fight and room that you can get i i feel like it is but then again there are like they're hinting when you get the bolts and the attachable mines that the mine thrower would probably be really good there because of the silence and how it is a silent weapon and using it might be actually a really good choice so I don't know how it works if you use that, but just like basically purely trying to do it's actually pretty difficult. And not to mention like that if you try to like do everything without getting too much hit and uh, not losing too much resources, then it like th like all the countless rooms will be are pretty difficult and take lots of tries. And the, like it, it might be that like the simple countless situations where you go. Not the, not even the like the hardest ones, like the water hole. It's not even that one that's like crazy hard because you can kinda stay in certain safe spots. But for example, the in the mines, like the first room where you go with Louis, and there's the uh, double chainsaws and all that. That that's kinda hard because you don't have any way to like kite them and. Well, you have a way to guide them, but not like well, and you're getting bombarded. And doing that with, a, with low resources is kind of hard. The second one is like... Uh, uh, like in many things in the castle, for example. So, I feel like those are the hardest things. Not necessarily like capping and all that. Like, I did capping on first try, which was kind of like, what? I did Krauser first fight on first try, which was without like completely dying and losing all my health, which was kind of, what? I did Krauser second, like the second fight in like three tries, three or four tries, and it was just so that I knew what was going on. If I knew what, what how it worked the first time, I would have probably gotten through it like the second try, I think. But it's, it's like, it's like the, Obvious ones that felt like they might give me trouble didn't really give me that much trouble. It was the like the crazy countless situations and trying to like conserve ammunition and not lose too much resources that made the things problematic where I had to reload lots of times. They kind of felt like a bullshit thing to happen. But anyway, yeah. So, all in all, I think it's a fair difficulty. I think it's like how they're expect like how you should play it after you've done the like the normal playthrough. But I just wish that the difficulty adjustment didn't hit in and it would be always the hardest basically it can be. I don't know how much fluctuation there is in the difficulty adjustment, but I just wish it wasn't like really big. Like I I'm not sure I didn't really notice anything, but I'm, I'm not really perceptive about that anyway. And I don't have any comparing points really since I've only played this through twice. So. But anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next, next video. Subscribe, leave a comment, anything. Anything is appreciated. Thanks, Ufonman is going away now.